Right now, the mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, um, is doing her work. I recently sat down with her. She announced she will not seek a second term as Atlanta's mayor, and that's something we had to talk about. It was an exclusive interview, wide ranging, no limits, and it took place yesterday morning. It is part of an upcoming special segment that we call Center Stage, but we do want to give you a sneak peek. One of the questions I asked Mayor Bottoms was about the love she received from the start when she was first elected into office. I never trusted it. Really? Uh, you know, easy come, easy go. Um, I, it wasn't that I didn't appreciate it, but I just know that people in the public can sometimes be fickle. They can love you one day and they can hate you the next day. And I, I've, I've certainly uh, weathered many a, a storm on social media and, and you can tell when the trolls have been unleashed. And I often think of it just in the, the lens of what would I tell my kids? Um, and, and sometimes it, I, let me be clear, I do appreciate it. Um, it's very flattering. But at the end of the day, people know you from afar and they're making opinions and, and, and judging you from afar. So it's far more important for me to be loved by my family and my friends than the public as a whole. I appreciate it. Uh, but I know that the people who, who claim to adore me really don't know me. And uh, if they saw me in my kitchen and they saw me at my house, they might think very differently. So some of the best political advice I ever received was from a friend who said, no matter what decisions you make, you should always be able to go home. And that little piece of advice that I received many, many years ago has stuck with me. Because whenever I'm faced with a decision that I, I, I can't, I, there's no blueprint and I can't quite know all the facts and all the things you want when you make tough decisions, I always think, can I hold my head up when I go in the grocery store? Or when I go to church or when I go to the Little League game? Is this the best decision that allows me to go back home and be okay? Mm. Yeah, she, she was ready for this sit down and she really gave us a lot of time. We took a lot of time, so I do thank uh, Mayor Bottoms for that. But we'd forgotten, and that's what the news cycle does because it's so fast and furious. We've forgotten how many of those no blueprint decisions she's had to make from the start of her tenure as Atlanta's mayor. And you and I have talked about it. When you're Atlanta's mayor, you're de facto black America's mayor. But, you know, she came into office and within 10 seconds there was a cyber attack, which is in the headlines. You know, we're hearing a lot about mm. more and more of these shakedowns. Um, Atlanta's probably was the first big city this happened to. And you'll hear her talk mm -hmm. more about this in, in coming as we release more of the interview. But that's what she had to do. The FBI standing here, all of a sudden this breaks. Do we pay? Do we not pay? And she, she had a very um, sister answer mm. for whether she was going to pay to get her stuff back. So you'll hear that. But, you know, there was that. There was the ongoing federal probe. COVID hit. She's fighting with Governor Kemp to try to keep people safe. You know, and she also had the unrest and what people felt she should do and not do. Um, so we talked about a lot of it. One of the things she did say, Mike, that I asked mm -hmm. her point blank if she was offended by these assertions that with soaring crime, and fairly, it's in every city we're seeing this, just incredible, right. just incredible stuff. San Francisco, New York, we've talked about. Everywhere. Whether she was offended at this assertion that she took her eye off the ball to become this star surrogate for the Biden-Harris campaign. And she was their star surrogate and she delivered. She delivered Fulton County. Um, yeah. And she, mm. she did not appreciate that and said, look, look how long these, I, she spent more time with us than probably all those interviews put together yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. But that, that is something she won't tolerate and she kind of broke that down too. But I did, have not seen her um, look more radiant. Uh, be more relaxed and as she told me yesterday at peace with uh, her decision not to run again 
Yeah, she seemed at peace with her decision, and I loved what she said and her passion after she announced, the, you know, when she was not going to run for re-election. She basically talked about how much she loved this city and that passion, and nobody can ever question that. I felt that. You know, I'm, I go back and yeah. forth between L.A. and Atlanta, as you know. My wife lives here. I'm here a lot. My mom lives here. My brother lives here. I've heard a lot about uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, and I know from the outside looking in, it looked like she was always doing a good job. But, yeah, she went through a lot. But I love what she said. I mean, I think this is what made her, uh, if you think she's a good mayor, uh, I'm pretty sure you do, uh, what, what made her a good mayor is like when she said the love affair that she got when she first came in, she never trusted it. And I know what she means by that. Mm -hmm. I know what she means by that. Never trust it. Because we do know not only in politics, Sharon, in our jobs, entertainment, anything we do, yeah. a lot of this is fickle. They love you today. They can yeah. hate you tomorrow. But you know what? When you don't trust it, you appreciate it, but you don't trust it, you stay grounded. And you continue to work. Yeah, she, and you don't get caught up in it. Yeah. She's a humble woman, a family woman. But when she said that, I don't know what I expected her to say, but that broke my heart. Um, and that's not, but she wasn't I, looking I, I for sympathy. It. I'm I, just I telling you, I yeah. felt it. It yeah. broke my heart because I felt like I want to support this black woman as so many of us do. She earned the right to mm -hmm. be here. And I felt like, I felt like we let her down. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's, it, it really was like a punch to the gut when it's she politics. said that, like, oh man, it's, that, I, was, I don't that think, hurt I don't think it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's politics. And I, I, I don't think she understood. Yeah, she, yeah, it she, is. she knew what she was getting oh, yeah. into when she came She's into the job. Good with it. But at the end of the day, she knows who Keisha Lance Bottoms is. She knows oh, she, she does. gets to go back home to her family. And once again, she said, Very grounded. I can look myself in the mirror and know I did what I was supposed to do. When you can do that, when you yeah, can say to yourself, say you know that. what, I did what I can. I'm and sure. I, my, when I, this, is, this is some of my favorite words. When I'm going through therapy, when I felt to myself that I used to care too much. But when I started saying, mm -hmm. my conscience is clear, and I felt oh, that, that and I really meant that, it helped me so much. So I wish her the yeah. best of luck in everything she does after uh, she, she steps down as mayor or after she doesn't get Me too. Yeah, she does. She gets a lot of She got a lot of things on the horizon, though, too. People are fighting for her services. That's another thing that yeah. I realized yesterday. Um, buckle up. You have not yeah. seen the last of her. I can't wait to hear the rest of it. Can't wait to hear the rest of it. Yeah.